Thank you. So it's our six o'clock special Zoom meeting, uh, planning board meeting for uh, what the hell, the 19th, 20th? 20th. 20th, April 20th, six o'clock. You see David Ketchum from the Light and Water here. You see Kevin. Uh, Jeff's here, Violet's here, Anna's here, and I'm here. Although Anna says she's Rob Houston, but she's uh, pretending. Anyway, so our first uh, first and only agenda item, a &R for, um, what's the actual address? I don't have them for me, I didn't put it. 97 Mill. 97 Mill Road, good guess. Mm -hmm. oh, who wants to start? Um, I can start. Um, good evening. My name is Kevin Conover. I'm from David Ross Associates, and I represent Warren Mills uh, Realty LLC, a division of a pro uh, property on the southerly side of Mill Road, adjacent to 495 and Beaver Brook. It, uh, what we're doing tonight is we're submitting an approval not required plan, looking for the endorsement to divide it into two lots. Okay. Can you share the screen? Show us the uh, one of so stay in ours. Marin, can you do that? Yeah. Um, to share. Okay, hopefully you can see it. Yep. Yeah. So as you can see, we're showing two, uh, one lot and a parcel on the southerly side of Mill Road. Uh, Jason to Beaverbrook is parcel number two. Um, we're calling it a parcel because it's not a building lot because it does not conform to the lot shape requirement. Um, so we're making a notation underneath the area uh, of that lot, and we're also making a notation of it in the notes section of the plan. Um, lot number one conforms to the frontage and area requirements. Um, there is no frontage and area requirement. It's located in an industrial B zoning district. Um, so it's our intention to divide the property into two lots this evening. Okay, uh, board have any questions, any concerns? Uh, as you said, it's a commercial, it's a zone business. Um, I'm assuming you're doing it so that you can ultimately, uh, uh, the water department or the light department's gonna purchase the both lots and then do something uh, on a conservation note with parcel two eventually later on. Yeah, um, at this time, we're just dividing the property. Um, okay. I've heard that conversation, um, and I assume that's what's going to happen. But at this time, we're just dividing the property into two. Okay. All right. Does the board have any questions or concerns? I'll start with you, Anna. Do you have anything? So can we just do a quick little history about how this property has changed hands um, and you know what's gotten us to, to today? I, I think that would be very helpful. Um, the history of the parcel, uh, again, uh, we're presenting this plan as it is. It's owned currently by Warren's Mill Realty LLC. Um, it's just a, an A&R plan right now. We're just dividing the property. How long so, has Warren's Mill owned this particular property? Uh, I'd say approximately five to seven years. Okay. And um, so they have just not wanted to do anything with, with this particular property after they acquired it? I'm not saying that. I'm not sure what their intention was when they originally purchased it. Um, again, we're just submitting an A&R plan tonight. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so uh, just for uh, historical purposes, it was owned by Parley Lumber. Maybe before you got here, Anna, uh, it was actually at one time, I think it was the oldest continually operating sawmill in the United States. Um, I think the uh, the entity that bought it had thoughts about using it for their construction project. I think they realized that it probably wasn't the, the best suited for that. And now they're um, hopefully going to uh, uh, subdivide it in, uh, and the uh, light and water department's going to purchase it for their, for their views. So that's basically where we're at, right? David, anything you want to add to this? No, no, no. Um, yeah. Like you guys stated, um, we're trying to separate the parcels to protect the, that 100 foot buffer zone. Um, so at this point, that's that's what we're doing. Um, and then we'll figure out the rest and, and let everyone know at a later time. Okay. 
Violet, you have any questions or concerns? Well, um, given that the use isn't the future use isn't known, I was just the only question I have is really why are you um, zigzagging the the uh, property line around one of those buildings and staying away from the hundred foot line? Because it it seems to be that you know, the, the lot lines seems to follow the hundred foot um, buffer line, buffer zone line. Yeah, exactly. That's that that is correct. Uh, it's our client's intention to to separate the 100 foot buffer line to one parcel. Um, however, a portion of there's a building located on lot number one that is located within the 100 foot buffer zone. So we serpentined the lot line around that just to adhere to that building in case uh, the future owner of lot number one wants to use that. So instead of uh, creating a zoning violation or uh, an encumbrance. We uh, snake the or serpentine the lot line around that. All right. Does the twenty-one foot dimension have any significance? Uh, there's a twenty-foot side yard, side and rear yard setback in that district, so okay. that's why we did twenty-one instead of twenty. Okay. Uh, and uh, Jeff, do you have any questions or concerns? Uh, no. Um, I mean, the hope is that the lot two parcel will be some time combined with the town owned mill um, hill uh, conservation land and this would be you know this would set it up for that to happen so no i don't have questions okay so no not having heard anything else uh, anna did you have something else you want to add well, I just wanted to say that typically speaking, um, residents have questions about A and Rs. Um, I know that from the process perspective, that that an A and R um, just divides the land, and it is the next step in the process that actually brings in all of the plans uh, to to share with us. Is there anything at all that can be shared from LELWD tonight? Um, not. I mean, we don't have in depth plans yet um nothing's been decided on um one one thing we could do quickly is um our our office area at 39 air road is is pretty loaded with with uh poles and different highway equipment that we might explore storing some stuff there um of that nature just electrical operations storage um that's something quick that might happen So at, at this time, there's no intent in the building a building or anything else like that. You just want no. to, yeah, not the at this time. to purchase the property. And then, as Jeff alluded to, you're setting it up so that at future dates, if, if at all possible, you're going to donate the land that the buffer back to the town to uh, add for conservation, probably at a later date. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Still working through those details, but yep. that's the hope. Okay. So it's plain old day and I mean, it's not. Not like it's any big deal. We don't normally uh, you know, we handle these all day, all the time. So, if anybody else have any other questions other than I'd like to take a vote on it? I guess not. Okay. All those in favor of approving the ANR as presented to uh, to the planning board signify. I'm going to ask for roll call. I guess the best way. Jeff. Yes. Violet. <clears throat> yes. Anna. Yes. And I'm a yes. So um, I know that with these, we did this quickly so that you guys could um, enter into the purchase and sale and everything else. Well, Martin, how are we going to sign these? We're going to have to come by your office to sign them. Yeah. Um, so town hall will be open until 1230 tomorrow. Um, so you can do it then or um, anytime Monday or Tuesday. And okay. then I can get it back to Dave. Great. So we'll all make arrangements just to pop by town hall and to have it set. Martin will have it ready for us to sign. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you all. Anything else? Um, uh, I, just, I just want to thank you for your time to have a special meeting, being accommodating to the clients. Um, like you said, Mark, it's a pretty simple A and R. So uh, I appreciate your time and uh, and your efforts for this evening. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, uh, David. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Okay, Mark. Do we have any other board business? Or is, oh, bills. That's why we have to pay some um, bills. Yeah. Um, so under board business, I had put board member input and bills and meeting schedule. Okay. Uh, meeting schedule. We're meeting on the 10th. 10th. 
Yeah, I I is it 10th or 18th? 18th. 18th. I, I was close. And it was eight, uh, May. May. Okay, well, there's several things going on. So um, Monday, May 1st is annual town meeting. Wednesday, May 10th, um, MAPC is um, hosting the bike and pedestrian plan um, public outreach session at the search meeting room. Thursday, May 18th is the next regular planning board meeting. Um, I'm, we'll, I will be away for that meeting. Yeah. Uh, then Tuesday, May 23rd, Innis Associates has set aside um, time to meet with the planning board um, for the next MBTA community session. Um, then the June regular planning board meeting, if we could slide that back to June 8th. Um, that avoids a grant deadline that comes up in early June um, that I think I'll be working on, um, that I understand I'll be working on. So if, it, if everybody's available Thursday, June 8th. And that brings us to the discussion about the July um, planning board meeting, whether you want that July 6th or move that to the 13th. I, I won't be here on the 13th. Mm -hmm. Uh, both the, and I, I usually I, I ask that question every year because it, so it, it tends to come up for for the July meeting when if you'd rather meet Fourth of July week or or not. Why don't we see how busy we're going to be before we? Why don't we tentatively put it on for the sixth, but see see what we got going on. Mm -hmm. Um, Arn, what did you say was the date and time of the MAPC meeting? The uh, it was on the tenth. Um, MAPC bike and pedestrian plan is Wednesday, May 10. Okay. Um, I just found out that the open space and recreation planning committee, um, public input session with Dodson and Flinker will be via, um, remote on the 16th of May. Okay. Do you know what time? Um, I, the flyers posted on the front page of the website. Let me take a look at that. Um, well, she's doing that. I, I don't know if you guys had a chance to notice that Lexington approved their, um, yes. commuter. Uh, <clears throat> they got a lot of press in the globe about it. Mm -hmm. so, so I believe that, um, meeting on the 16th, I, well, no, I don't yeah, know. <laughs> it's, it's, it starts at seven. Starts at seven. Okay. Yep, and then so, we'll be a Zoom meeting. So if that's May 16th, that's also the same date as the Affordable Housing Trust, which includes three of our members. Well, the OS the OSPC is a public input session. It's yeah, it's not a won't be posted as a planning board meeting. Yeah. I was just saying that if it's an open session, though, that um, it just might conflict if, if three of the members wanted to attend that. That's all. Yeah. Okay, so I'll follow that up with, uh, do any of you want to host the <laughs> Zoom for the um, next Affordable Housing Trust meeting? That would be at 6 o'clock that evening. Uh, I'll, so I'll send that around in an email to give you time to contemplate. Thank you, Mar. Yep. Right. So that was the. I, I will resend around the um, update on on the meeting schedule. Thank you very much. Okay. And last, but we have bills, right? Or what else do we have? Um, yep, I had sent around a copy of the bills, scan of the bills. Um, one, two, three, five of them for Green International. Um, Nine Air Road Construction ser Observation Services for 8750, um, Engineering Review for 265 Foster Street, 5185, Engineering Review for the 254 to 260 Air Road for 10530, Construction Observation at Wellington Drive for $1,104.17 and Construction Observation at Croft Circle, um, $2,145. And we still have money in all of those accounts yeah. to pay them. So we're just using their money to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any problems with them? Okay, no. Well, and most of that, we pay the bills. We pay green, the five bills that are outstanding for them. 
Anyone want to second that? I'll second it. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Pretty easy. Anything else? That's it? That's all, that's all I had. Yeah. Okay. So, great. So, um, this is a quick one. 13 to 15 I'll minutes. Have, let's do it every meeting. 15 minutes route? 15 minutes. Maybe 20. All right. Wow. Okay. I'll try for 20. Do it on a sliding scale. I get we get more money the less the less time we stay up. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I see you guys all at town meeting, right? That's next. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you all. Aye. All right. Good night. Good night.